this media don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so i know people are going to be a little mad at this but let's get to it lebron is the goat over michael jordan when it comes to business playing the game now i know i'm gonna get a lot of flack saying well lebron i mean michael jordan owned the bobcats and sure he did after he played what we got to understand what lebron is lebron came in he turned down a reebok deal which had more money on the back end or on the front end michael tried to go to adidas a couple of times but adidas did not want him LeBron took a deal with Nike where it ended up being allegedly a billion dollars for a lifetime deal. So even though Reebok offered him more money on the front end, LeBron at 18 was smart enough to turn down that deal and take a Nike deal at 18 years old. Him and Maverick Carter even said that they, the dude wrote him, the CEO of Reebok wrote him a $10 check and while he was in high school and said, if you take this right now, you can cash it right now as long as you don't talk to any other shoe brands. And he knew back then to say, hey, well, if they offer me this, what the other people going to offer me? Somebody like me, I would have took it. If Adidas would offer Mike $10 million off the front, Mike would have took it. So not only did LeBron do that, but he put his friends on. See, when LeBron originally fired his agent, People gave him gave him heat. Michael Jordan had David Falk. LeBron put Rich Paul in charge. Now look where Rich Paul is at right now. He owned. I mean, his agency has has uh, generated multiple billion dollars in contracts. He's worth over a hundred million dollars, and he's the most powerful person, powerful sports agent in the league. Now, you can say David Falker was in Mike's time, but David wasn't one of Mike's friends. David wasn't somebody that grew up in the same area. LeBron trusted Rich Paul with no degree, and they met at an airport when Rich Paul was flipping throwback jerseys. Maverick Carter. LeBron and Maverick own a portion of Spring Hill Entertainment which is worth 700 something plus million. Michael Jordan never owned anything like that. I'm sorry he didn't. And don't get me wrong. Michael Jordan had deals with Rayovac and Nike and Gatorade and all of that. But LeBron took a heap. LeBron turned down money and took a percentage of beats by Dre. So when Apple bought him for several billion, LeBron made... 40 at least 40 million and i'm sure he probably still gets residuals or whatever on the back end lebron also owns a percentage of of the liverpool soccer team he also owned blaze pizza he turned down the nike i mean the nike he turned down a mcdonald's endorsement just so he could take a stake in blaze pizza which is now worth tens of millions of dollars he put randy mibs on and for people who don't know randy usually when you see lebron you see randy randy runs several of or everything has to go through randy lebron has single-handedly made multi-millionaires lebron also became a billionaire while still playing the game and people do not appreciate that. Was Michael Jordan the richest athlete playing basketball? Absolutely. But it does not. In comparisons, it's not even close. We're talking about somebody who was a billionaire basketball athlete. He's just as rich as some of the owners in the league. And he doesn't own a percentage of the NBA team. And he will, at some point, become an owner. They're going to gift him and find a way to give him a team, just like they did with Michael Jordan, because he brought he brought so much to the game. Now, one thing that I will say, Michael Jordan had better shoes. 
Nike tried to do it with LeBron and it wasn't gonna work. Now the first two shoes were pretty were pretty solid. But after that, it looked like they just tried to focus on strictly basketball versus Mike. You had to have them. You had to have the ones, the twos, the threes. I remember you could be nobody even noticed you. But if you wore a pair of LeBron, I mean a pair of Jordans, you got all the attention from the girls. All the homeboys wanted, wanted to check them out. They wanted to shake up with you and compare them. And even to the point to where somebody might try to do physical harm to you just to have a pair. Will Smith wore them. Jerry Seinfeld wore them. Everybody wanted a piece of Mike. People don't feel that same way about LeBron when it comes to the shoe business. But when it comes to the world of business... Everybody tries to be like him. Everybody now wants their own production company and everybody wants to be the boss of their own decisions. Everybody wants to invest in companies now instead of taking endorsements. We got to get at the mic. I mean, to LeBron. We have to. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When it comes to business, LeBron James is the GOAT of sports. I really can keep going on and on. I want y'all to let me know. Should I should I put more videos out going in detail over that? If you disagree with me, tell me why. If you think I'm tripping, I don't know what I'm talking about in the comment section. Tell me why. Do not compare Jordan now to how LeBron is right now. No. When they were playing in the league, who was better than what at that time? That's what I want to talk about. And I'm talking about business. Yes, everybody wanted to be like Mike, but everybody want to run their companies like LeBron.